all right as now you can see my moto g4 plus here what you need to do is go to the settings right here okay then scroll down go to about options about phone scroll down then you will see find the bill number down there click it click it for seven times okay then you will see a notification that will tell you that um, your developer mode has been enabled in my case it was already mo enabled so I don't need to press that then go back to developer options right there then on the fifth option you will see your OEM unlocking option press it ok then it will ask for your pattern lock or lock or anything you have put it up allow it okay then go to the home screen switch your device off all right now as you can see my device is off so what we need to do now is we need to boot it into bootloader so for that we need to hold the power button and the volume button down button simultaneously in doing that as you can see uh, Mamoru G4 Plus has put it up into the bootloader so as you can see down there it's right there we need to unlock it as so as for now you can see my desktop and for unlocking your bootloader what you need to do is first you need to go to the uh, Motorola website as you can see right here and you will have to first download two things and install the ATB Android SDK well it's not completely necessary you just need to install this install the latest Motorola USB drivers on your desktop download it from here or you can just paste the link, downloading link below then what you need to do next is just connect your device okay now I tell you the hard part now you need to open your ADB which I got so now so after downloading all the files that are needed for you to successfully unlock the bootloader you will need this mfast boot right here all right so so now what you need to do is you need to press and hold shift button and then click right button of your mouse and then open command window right here you will see something like this okay then you need to simply follow the sub commands which are given right here like fast boot oem get unlock data copy all right paste over here right you need to just simply do this and when you will press enter you will see the following codes down here and if you see the waiting sign waiting for device written here that means the drivers are not working correctly and you need to reconnect your USB cable or your drivers you need to reinstall your drivers in order to get these codes well in my case mm, okay then you need to copy down this then you just need to copy down this paste it over here I remove the bootloader no spaces no spaces just make sure you don't have any kind of any spaces between the codes I guess not it's correct can my device be unlocked let's carry on I agree request unlock key it says unlike unless you have a developer edition device this will void your warranty are you sure I'm gonna press ok let's see what happens okay so it's unlock your pullover unlock your device you should have received an email with your unlock key so it's telling me how to unlock it so okay as you can see have a my mail is here so what you need to do is type fast boot fast boot vm unlock then enter your security key then you need to put your security key the unique key which you just got in your mails 
Okay, so now we gonna type the code again and type enter. Enter. It's asking us to rewrite the command. So we're gonna rewrite the command. Type enter. Okay. So now my device has restarted. Now as you can see the OEM unlocked. The OEM log has kind of changed to flashing underscore unlocked and now we are ready to flash any kind of recovery stock or stock domes or any kind of other softwares.